On Cape Canaveral today, NASA paused to remember a tremendous loss that captivated and saddened a nation. 30 years ago today, the space shuttle Challenger exploded just 73 seconds into its flight, killing all seven on board. And of course, on board that flight, Krista McAuliffe, who would have been the first teacher in space. And since then, some of her students have chosen to be just like her, teachers, including one Bay Area woman. Paul Mueller spoke with her tonight, and he's live in Manatee County with that story. And it's an inspiring one, Paul. It certainly is. You know, you can find Tammy Hickey here at the Martha B. King School each and every day. She's not only teaching her students here, but she's also helping to inspire them, just like Krista McAuliffe did to her. 30 years ago. Yes. Where did it go? It went by so fast, like it was just yesterday. You watched it unfold in front of your eyes. I did. But that tragedy has turned into a lesson plan no teacher could ever prepare. It sounds like you want to continue her legacy. I would love to. It would be an honor to have that impact on my students. If I could touch them the way she touched us as a whole class of 1986 or anybody that had her, it would, it would be an honor. And an honor it has been for Tammy Hickey and other classmates from the high school in Concord, New Hampshire, class of 1986. Today, Hickey teaches here in Manatee County, others across the country. But 30 years ago... Everybody was crying, you know, this is a disaster, and um, they released us from school. It was tough. It was those tough times that changed them, but it would take some time to realize she made a mark on you. She was an incredible teacher who made everybody feel like they were important. A better person? But a, a better person, and now that I chose to be in the teaching profession, I want to emulate that to my students. You know, I want them to know that I care. I want to make a difference in them. And McAuliffe was one of 11,000 applicants of teachers who wanted to go into space. Tammy says there was just something inside her that knew that, knew that McAuliffe would be the one, guys. And Paul, Krista McAuliffe's own children, and they haven't been very vocal throughout the years. What happened to them? They haven't. And actually, Josh, ironically, they've followed in their mother's footsteps. Both of them have become teachers. So quite a legacy, really, that Krista McAuliffe leaves behind. Yeah, some good things after that tragedy. Thanks so much. Paul Mueller, live in Manatee County tonight.